Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to get some probabilities and some x values from the normal distribution using Minitab Express. I'm going to do a couple of examples here. We start off with the same scenario. Assume that adults have IQs that are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So the first question I'd like to address is, find the probability that a randomly selected individual has an IQ less than 125. That is, find the probability that I get an X score, an IQ, less than 125. And when we did this in the book, we first converted our 125 to a Z score, and then we looked that up in table 2, and we got the probability of 0.9525. So in this case, we're going to do it in um, Minitab Express, and it's really easy to do. So we come over here, if you start on the home page, you want to go to statistics, probability distributions. Now this is a cumulative probability we're looking for. And so we, we click on the cumulative, and you can see right there, it's, the question mark is by the area. We're, getting, we're, we're actually finding an area or a probability. So we click cumulative. We're going to put in a single value, that value being 125. Right, that's the x value. It is the normal distribution. Now the uh, default settings for mean and standard deviation come from the standard normal, which um, has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. But in our case, we have a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And we're good to go. So let's uh, just click OK. Let's see what we get here. In the output, here in the blue box, we have x is 125, and the probability that I get a variable less than x is 0 0.952210 using the method in the book and the table we got 0.9525 so it works it's fast it's easy you don't have to convert it to a z-score it's really good all right so the second type of problem we're going to be considering is is the inverse of this type of problem when you're given a probability and you want to find an actual x value for example we want to find the IQ score which separates the bottom 80 percent of the adults from the top 20 Right, so the mean is 100, so we want that IQ that delineates the top 20%. And we did this in the book. We had to find the z-score that came closest to a cumulative probability of 0.8. Then we had to take that z-score and convert it to an x-score using a formula. Here with Minitab Express, much simpler. Okay, so we come over to Minitab Express. We go to Statistics again. Probability Distributions, CDF, PDF. Now in this case, and you can even see right here, it's an inverse function in the sense that you're given the probability, we know the blue shaded region, and we're looking for the value of x. So we click on that. We're going to input a single value as opposed to a row or column of values, and that value is 0.8. That's the probability. That's the area to the left of the value we seek. Again, this is a normal distribution, so we keep it on normal. The mean is 100. The standard deviation is 15. We're ready to go. Click OK. And in the output, you can see that the value of x right here that delineates the lower 80% from the top 20% is 112.624319. Just like we got back um, using the book and the formulas and the calculations. Minitab. Express. Easy, fast, and we are done.